Coronavirus. Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. Well, as you know, the coronavirus is in the news everywhere. You know, more and more people are getting infected. And, you know, there's still a lot more to learn about this virus and to learn how it's getting spread. You know, you'll hear and read different things on the internet. Uh, but one thing they do know is that it is spread uh, from person to person. And typically that's with, uh, with people that are in close contact with each other, typically within six feet. So they know that. And what happens is that uh, people are getting infected uh, via respiratory droplets that are produced when a person coughs or, or sneezes. And, it, uh, and these droplets, you know, land on the mouth or the nose of the person that's nearby uh, or they're inhaled into the lungs. So that's how people are getting infected. Um, you know, so uh, the one thing that uh, they're saying too is that uh, possibly uh, from touching surfaces or objects, uh, because well, and it makes that kind of makes sense. So if you think about it, if somebody sneezes or coughs on a surface, you know, obviously that that surface is going to be uh, you know infected for a period of time. You know, so then what people do is they're touching these touch surfaces and uh, these. Uh, uh, touch points and surfaces and then they're touching their t-zone the t-zone is this area here it's the mouth nose and eyes so that's why they call it a t-zone um, and that's typically what happens is that you'll go through a facility and you'll touch surfaces or open, open a doorknob and then for whatever reason you might you know uh, scratch your nose uh, or or you know put your hand up by your eye or by your mouth and that's how things are going to be transferred and you know that's pretty common with any type of virus you know that's why when we do clean facilities is that we really pay attention to uh, touch points such as doorknobs and, and counters and things like that there uh, light switches and another one so you know so that's some of the things that we can do you know to help fight this coronavirus is um, when we're out in public in large groups uh, you know they're saying that you should wear an n95 respirator uh, they're in high demand so you know you might not be able to find one um, but you can do that and the other thing that you can do is wash your hands you know wash your hands uh, every chance that you get or as often as possible uh, because you know that will make a big difference because remember like I said about the t-zone if your hands are from touching surfaces and stuff and you're bringing them up to your face well uh, that's just not good so wash your hands as often as possible and uh, keep your hands away from your t-zone you know, uh, just try to be in the habit of not doing that uh, because that's why people will get colds, the flu, and this uh, uh, coronavirus. So with that in mind, here's some things that you can do for your accounts. You know, as I said, we want to uh, clean all touch points and surfaces. So obviously we're going to probably disinfect those surfaces and we can always get out a spray bottle and spray and wipe. But that's really not an efficient method uh, for disinfecting a lot of these surfaces. And chances are that you're not going to be able to do a very th thorough job of getting the entire surface. So, uh, now some of you probably haven't heard about this method, but you can use an electrostatic disinfecting method. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and watch this video and um, uh, we'll help clear things up for you. Traditional disinfectant spray bottles are often not effective for cleaning hard to reach recesses and corners. Fortunately, there is now a revolutionary new sprayer that disinfects more areas more efficiently. Hi, I'm Emily from Market Lab, and this is the Electrostatic Sprayer. The Electrostatic Sprayer offers 360 degree coverage, meaning when you spray one side of an object or surface, the cleaning power extends all the way around it. When used with pure tabs, 99.99% of bacteria and viruses, including MRSA and C. diff, are eradicated in four minutes. Users can adjust the applicator nozzle to spray three different sizes of droplets. The electrostatic sprayer's unique technology allows you to cover a 450 square foot room in just over two minutes using less than a third of the disinfectant a hand-powered trigger sprayer requires. When fully charged, the sprayer offers over four hours of continuous use, making it ideal for daily disinfecting. With the electrostatic sprayer, you'll fight the spread of infection the smart way. From the Market Lab Innovation Center, I'm Emily. Thanks for watching. Well, there you go. I hope that was informational for you. 
Uh, it is another, it's a great method for disinfecting, uh, disinfecting surfaces and rooms and surfaces. You know, and it's because of the, the, the positively charged uh, solution, you know, that, that you're dispersing. And as you've seen in the video, you know, uh, it gets all areas. So if you're doing a, uh, a tube or something like that, it's actually going and getting the entire surface uh, covered with, uh, with the solution. So uh, could be another thing that you could add to your arsenal. Uh, you could talk to your clients and uh, let them know that you do have a method for going through and doing some very thorough disinfecting uh, in their rooms. Um, but So keep that in mind. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And as usual, um, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit, click the subscribe, subscribe button and uh, you'll find hundreds and hundreds of videos that we've done on how to build a successful cleaning business. So until then, we'll see ya.